What's good, Bully World? This is Zeb, your host, Bully Talk with Zeb Pitts. Next stop for your boy, Buccella Volume 2, taking place April 23rd, Delaware. The host for that, Tayshawn, man, he be having the bomb-ass food, man. When I, when I say this, I'm serious. Bomb foods, great dogs going to be out there, great atmosphere. It's a family event. Again, you can bring your wife, your kids, your family. Come on out. Have a great time. April 23rd. Booty Talk Zen Pits will be in the building. You already know. I'm going to have the, the fire photos, bomb videos, and they be out in a timely matter, man. You already know it, man. And I truly, truly appreciate the support with the brand. Getting a lot, a lot of love, man. And I'm riding away from the um, Rumble in the Jungle uh, 3.0. Um, from there to now, April 23rd. Buccella Volume 2, man. It's, it's going to be a great time. You're going to see a lot of XL uh, out there also as well with the movement, with Danny and the XL movement. You're going to see a lot of bad exotics from the Northeast region, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maryland, Virginia, PA. So you're going to see a lot of beautiful bullies also, uh, a lot of beautiful exotics also as well. You're going to see Frenchies, Bulldogs. Like I said, you're going to have a great mix of dogs out there today. Get your boots. Get your boots. I'm bringing the belt. I'm bringing the belt. You already know. Bully Tongue Zen Piss Dog of the Day belt. Sponsorship slots are already taken. Again, sponsorship slots are already taken. Shout out to Danny with the XL movement. Snatched all the spots. What more can I say, man? I, I love my supporters, man. I love my supporters, man. Shout out to Brittany also, man, the other day out there from Salt Lake City, Utah. I truly appreciate the support with the brand. I put out a post yesterday because I had a few of the of the jungle shirts left. As soon as I put the post up, she snatched the last whatever six six or seven shirts that I had left. She snatched them all, man. I that's that's what I call Tremendous support for the brand, man. I truly, truly appreciate that. Very, I was very humbled by that, man. I didn't know I was going to sell them all out yesterday, man. I shipped them out right away. Sent her the confirmation. She should get it by Thursday. Man, I tell you, man, when I do stuff, I do it quickly. So, I, I like I said, I truly appreciate it. Again, next up for your boy, April 23rd, Buccella Volume 2. You want to be there. You want to be there. To be all in the camera, all on the photos. You want to be there. I cannot wait. Like I said, it's a great event that's taking place in Delaware. Outdoor event. Please, please, please get your booths. Get your booths. It's well worth the event. You're going to come out, have a great time with a lot of great people and a lot of great dogs. And you'll be on the Bully Talk Zeb Pitts dog. You'll be on the Bully Talk Zeb Pitts video documentary. So... You already saw Buccella Volume 1. If you haven't, go check it out. Again, if you haven't checked out Buccella Volume 1, go check it out just to see what the atmosphere will be like coming up April 23rd in Delaware. So you definitely want to go there and check it out. Up next, after the Buccella Volume 2, I think I got something lined up. We're still working out the details for, I think, a show taking place down in uh, Texas, Dallas, Texas, I believe, uh, sometime in June. So be on the lookout for that. Definitely going to catch your boys, a special guest at the War of the Exotics uh, 3. As a special guest, your boy will be in the building. Shout out to Joseph Council who put out the baddest DVD in the bully game, War, War of the Gods. He's bringing, him, he's bringing the show back to the Carolinas. You already know, Legend's going to be in the building. The baddest dog's going to be in the building. He brings out all the legends in the West Coast dogs. He brings them out. Bring them out. He linked up with the Quan. They're doing the show together. So it's going to be a great event taking place November 5th. And your boy get to sit back and chill and be a special guest, man. I'm very honored, humbled, 
and appreciative uh, of that, man. Been doing this a long time, and when, when somebody reach out, man, get that award. This only be the second time or something like this ever happened to me, man. It happened in my backyard at Pat's show in, in Maryland where I got an award, appreciation award. And uh, what's this? What, 10, 10 years later, I get an award? I appreciate it, man, for real, man. Uh, any uh, any accolades, acknowledgments uh, of the hard work I've been putting in in the bullet community, I truly appreciate, and I'm humbled by that. And um, again, I'm bringing a belt, a new look for the belt. The sponsorship spots are gone. I got to holler at you, Daddy. I got to go to get that belt off. I just realized we're only a couple of weeks away. It'll take a minute. So... Got to holler at my sponsors, get that mind so I can get that bill here right away, man. But again, I truly appreciate all my sponsors, all the supporters, all the likes, shares, comments, good or bad. I truly just appreciate you taking your time uh, to give your critiques, comments, or anything on the different documentaries that I've been putting out uh, in the bully world. So I truly, truly appreciate that. Again... I got to link up with June soon. We got to do the the, uh, the 60 Minutes style interview with June Williams, man, just to, to show the maturation and the progress of going from hitting shows 20 hours on the road to come up with, coming up with the underdog movement to, to throwing, to emceeing and shows and, and judging shows all around the country to throwing the biggest show in the bully world without a registry. Yeah, we got to talk about all that, man. So be on the lookout. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. So uh, what else is going on? Shout out to my young and Jaleel. He in training camp right now, getting ready for his uh, upcoming fight. Uh, he will be on the undercard of Lulubin uh, Fandora undercard taking place april 9th oh two weeks away taking place april 9th two weeks away his first six rounder you're looking at the future world champion at the 147 out of mayweather promotions man jaleel major hackett man he gonna be a problem for real so be on the lookout for the for all the coverage that you'll see with uh jaleel coming up then may 28th got javante tank davis back in action going against roley um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see with that one, man. That shit gonna be crazy right there, man. It's gonna be fireworks. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. It's taking place at the Barclays up in New York. So I'm very excited. May 28th, that fight is taking place. So again, your boy is busy. You might want to reach out early, different shows and stuff like that. Hit me now because my schedule gets booked very quickly, man, because I cover, uh, not only the American bullies and exotics, the dog world also cover boxing, the sports. Also got daughters involved with sports, so I'm at their events also as well. So, your boy busy. Reach out. We reach out, be serious, and then we can book it, lock it in. I can start, start letting people know where the next show I'll be at. Again, next show I'll be at. Buchella Volume 2, taking place April 23rd, up there in Delaware. And then after that, no shows locked in until November the 5th, where I'll be a special guest uh, for Joseph Council at his show, War of the Exotics 3, uh, taking place at the Kerbos Arena down there in Concord, North Carolina. I mean, I can't wait. So, again, you know where to find me. You know how to reach out to me. I just don't promote people's shows just to be promoting people's shows. You want me at your show? Holler at me. Lock it in. And I'll push your show. I ain't pushing your show just to be pushing your show. I'm too busy for that, man. Go find somebody else to do that. For real. Lock me in on your show. I'll push your show. If not, all love. There's plenty of people out there. I always say that. Plenty of other people out there. I might not be the one for you. I'm not the one for everybody. But the ones I am the one for, they happy as hell. I'll put it like that. Bullet Talk Zed Pets on the ropes. I'm out. <laughs>